Chopin was probably the first nationalist composer, I guess, in, in that he used what were, I suppose, Polish, actual Polish dances as a kind of takeoff point or inspiration for characteristic pieces. There are two sides to, to him which, which are always, I mean, competing is the wrong word, but I think complementing each other, perhaps. Uh, there's the Polish side, which is nationalistic, uh, romantic, expressive, and there's the French side, which is all about discipline, balance, uh, correctness. Schumann said cannons hidden in flowers, but you could almost say excess controlled by architecture. Chopin limited himself to mostly piano music. Uh, that's pretty much what we have. I guess he was a perfectionist, maybe a little bit like, like Brahms in that sense, in that he wanted everything to be just so. And the fact is, almost everything of Chopin is played all the time. Uh, there's no bad music. There's no music that you say this isn't quite as good. So the self-limitation certainly worked in, in that sense.